folks. Well, we are here at the Couture Show, and with me is a Michael O'Connor. Now, he is a celebrity jewelry stylist, but also he is the spokesperson for the show. So, Michael, tell us about what's going on here at the show. Well, this show is really one of the most important shows in the country and in the world because what the Couture Show does, it pulls together really the best, most international and famous brands and partners those brands with the top retailers in the country. So this is really where the trends are born. As a matter of fact, one of the things that I do as a jewelry stylist, I actually shop the show for my celebrity clients. So a lot of what we see here, you're going to see coming up on the Emmy red carpet. At Quayle, we dress a lot of celebrities for important red carpet events like the Academy Awards or the Golden Globes or the Emmy Awards. Uh, we've got here a number that we've uh, we've put out to show today. Olivia Wilde to the Emmy Awards wore a classically beautiful pair of diamond drop earrings, uh, a large pear shape framed in a beautiful diamond uh, embrace. It was a really beautiful earring and uh, she wore it very well. Let's talk about Megan Fox. Now, she was on the red carpet with Trans Transformers, and she had some stunning jewelry on her wrist. Tell us about it. So Megan, for the Transformers premiere, wore some large diamond bracelets. Mm -hmm. um, she stacked two of them on her wrist, and they looked very beautiful, very classic. It was a very classic style moment for Megan, um, and it was uh, it was just a really gorgeous, stunning look. Now let's talk about Carrie Underwood. I mean, those earrings are divine. Sure, Carrie is a, is a true beauty. She is uh, really matured and we've been working with her for quite a long time. Um, the earrings that she wore to the Billboard Music Awards were a beautiful graduated pair of amethyst drop earrings uh, that graduate in color from the darkest amethyst on the bottom to a diamond, white diamond at the top. Um, she fell in love with them immediately and picked the purple dress to match the earrings. We paired the, brace, uh, the amethyst earrings with a diamond bracelet, uh, in fact a stack of diamond bracelets. For the Academy Awards this year, Anna Kendrick, who was nominated for her role in Up in the Air, uh, wore a couple of pieces from our vintage collection. Uh, when we showed her the bracelet, Anna just looked at it and said, that's, that's the piece I want to wear to the Oscars. And so we actually created a pair of earrings that would work with it. And then she selected a ring that uh, would, was, a, was a very beautiful ring. As she waved to the crowd, it was hard to miss. Orange has been really, really good for us. We're doing a lot with coral and some of the more unusual colors in coral. And uh, in orange, we have fire opal and mandarin garnet. Maji, Maji means water in Swahili. And the idea is for this collection to benefit what's called the Water Project, mm -hmm. which goes to build water wells in Africa. Obviously, as we know, there's a a lot of problems, but one of the most important ones is the lack of water in, in many villages. So it's called Maji, again, water, and it's basically has taken sort of an African, more of an ethnic, uh, different from the fine jewelry that we have usually. It's all rough diamonds, and it's made in a way to, to look not as precious as fine jewelry, but it's the colors of the earth, you know, brown and, and different shades of brown, green. It's all about nature. Right. Um, and the best thing is obviously is taking diamonds out of Africa and leaving something behind. Because of the natural diamond look, right. we decided to go with things inspired by nature, which, you know, you see a lot of floral designs, you right. see butterflies, right. yeah, diamond floral ring, and we have the yellow diamond floral ring, you see the yellow butterfly up there. I was really inspired with floral patterns and nature in general, so a lot of the work is very delicate. Mm -hmm. I typically focus on texture, very unique textures combining the sandblasted or matte finish with the high polish and a variety of stone sizes. We do some custom work mm -hmm. in colored golds as well. We'll do rose right. gold, mm -hmm. which has uh, been a very popular trend lately. My two collection I could show you today. Ah, yes. We brought here a very beautiful piece and this piece is something that we have never seen before, it's very original. This is a very important thing to see and it comes as a necklace like six pieces and those pendants. And as you all people know that Lady Heart is a heart shape made out of three pieces, two half moon hugging a princess cut, a square princess cut. Many of the pieces that we do here are in black gold, rhodium gold, and sometimes also in black onyx, sometimes even in black diamonds. 
My advice to every guy thinking to, about picking out a ring for their fiance is to really listen to her desire, listen to what she wants, listen to the intricacies because you're going to get little hints throughout throughout the time you're together. And really, this does happen where your you, where your fiance is going to say, "Oh, don't you like so and so's ring? I love that shape." or I like that size, I love that setting. So you're gonna get a lot of hints. So really listen to her taste. Also make sure that you're buying the very best, very best diamond or gemstone. We're seeing a lot of, of color coming into engagement rings. Penelope Cruz has got a sapphire. We're seeing a lot of yellow diamonds, pink diamonds. So listen to what she likes in terms of the color. Um, and also make sure that the setting is going to be something that is going to last forever.